For most people, the software used the most on their computer is their web browser. To help you choose the one that will best fit your needs, we'll count down the top five web browsers that you can use right now. This year, instead of being based on popularity, we'll count these down based on numerous hours of testing with performance, privacy, and security, along with the number of features and customization options being the most important factors, all of which are free and available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown at number five is Google Chrome. While it's the world's most used browser, it's far from being the best. Not only is it a resource hog and not recommended for lower end hardware, resting on its laurels has been slow to innovate getting passed up by its main competitors. On the positive side, if you're someone that uses a ton of services from Google, like Gmail, their Office Suite, and others, and if you don't mind their data collection practices, Chrome does have excellent cross-platform support, letting you sync your passwords and bookmarks across multiple devices. Chrome also offers a large number of extensions to enhance the browser's functionality. No longer exclusive to their browser, Chrome extensions can also be run on other browsers based on Chromium I'll be showing you coming up. After many years of talking about it, Chrome now has a dark mode to make browsing the web easier on your eyes, especially at night. It's based on your system preferences on your operating system that also get automatically applied to Chrome and other apps. Many people have asked how to add a new theme to Chrome that will change the overall look along with the wallpaper on the new tab page. I'll quickly show you how to do this. Click the settings icon in the upper right, go down to more tools and select extensions. In the upper left, Click the main menu icon, and at the bottom of this pane, click Open Chrome Web Store. Below Extensions, select Themes. Scroll through the list of available themes. There's quite a few to choose from. When you find the one that you want, click on it. Then click Add to Chrome. You'll see that the new theme has been applied, and when you open a new tab, you'll see a new background image. In the number four spot, for those of you concerned about privacy, is the Brave web browser. It's open source and based on Chromium, so it gives you the ability to add extensions from the Chrome Web Store for added flexibility. By default, it blocks all ads on all web pages. While it's great for the end user to have web pages load faster with less distractions, it ruins the financial model keeping most websites in business. As a compromise, when enrolled in their Brave Rewards program, you can earn basic attention tokens, also known as BATS, for viewing alternative ads placed by Brave on the websites you visit. In turn, you can donate a portion of the tokens to the publishers you want to support. For added security, Brave also blocks all third-party cookies and storage to keep sites from tracking you when you leave their website. It's funny how they use BuzzFeed as an example. In addition, social media blocking is included to block content from Twitter and Facebook, along with Google logins. And when opening a new private window, it uses the Tor network to prevent sites from finding out your IP address. When opening Brave, it'll show you the number of trackers and ads blocked, along with the bandwidth and time saved. And if you're on a website you support and would like ads to appear, click the Brave shield to the right of the address bar and toggle the slider off to enable ads. Coming in at number three is the Edge browser from Microsoft. From the company Linux users love to hate, in addition to Windows and Mac OS, in a strange move, Edge is now available for Linux. I thought this would only happen when pigs fly and hell is frozen over. Edge is based on Chromium and feature packed. Some of its features include an efficiency mode to reduce consumption on your laptop battery. Its shopping tool at this time, only available in the US, helps you find a better deal and apply coupons if available. Tools also included help to keep your content organized. You can capture your screen, and there's a reading mode to eliminate any distractions. Edge also has its own store of extensions optimized for the browser. And if you don't find what you need, extensions from the Chrome Web Store can also be added. On the start page is the typical search bar. Your local weather is in the upper left. You get quick access to Microsoft's apps. There's a speed dial of websites. And below that, news can be customized to suit your needs. Unlike Chrome, with no screenshot feature, Edge makes it easy to capture your screen. Click the web capture icon in the upper right. Capture area will only take a screenshot of what is visible, while capture full page will do an auto scroll capturing the entire web page. Once captured, there's a draw tool so you can mark it up before saving it. An annoyance if you're a Windows 11 user is that Microsoft has made the process a lot more difficult to change the default browser when compared with Windows 10, Mac OS, and Linux. 
even going so far to stop workaround solutions that would make it easier. This is an issue that Microsoft needs to fix, or they just might find themselves on the wrong end of another antitrust lawsuit. Before we get to the top two web browsers we like the best, here's a few honorable mentions you might want to try out. Exclusive to Apple devices only, Safari is a browser you might want to use if you're baked into the Apple ecosystem, but its lack of features and customization options don't measure up to its competition. The Tor browser, available for all three major operating systems, is an open source modified version of Firefox that works to keep your internet activity anonymous, routing your traffic through a network of thousands of relays. And Opera is still hanging around, but is seeing less users since being sold a few years back. No longer being Norwegian owned, albeit feature packed, many people no longer find it to be as trustworthy as it once was. Back to the countdown, and in the runner-up spot, coming in at number two is Firefox. From the folks over at the nonprofit Mozilla Foundation, this open source web browser has the distinction of being the only web browser in our top five not to be based on Chromium. Unlike most Chromium browsers, Firefox does not stalk you around the web like a jealous lover wanting to know who or what you've been hanging around with. And by default, it stops those annoying videos that autoplay on the sites you visit. It also has excellent cross-platform support, a reader mode to avoid distractions, a dark mode built in, a huge store full of extensions, and a whole lot more. In fact, it was Firefox and not Chrome that made add-on extensions popular, some of which you can't even find on Chrome. Since last year's video, Firefox has changed the method of taking a screenshot. It's much easier now. Just right-click anywhere on the web page and select Take Screenshot. Your choices are the same, save visible, and save full page. Or to select a region, left click and drag on the page to select the area you'd like to capture, and then let go. Once you're done, selecting copy will save it to your clipboard to paste wherever you want, and selecting download will save it to your computer. In the top spot, coming in at number one by a large margin, is Vivaldi. This productivity browser for Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and now available for Android, was co-founded by one of the co-founders of Opera. And if you enjoyed Opera prior to its sale, Vivaldi is definitely a browser you should check out. Not only is it great for privacy with ad and tracker blocking built in, it also includes many unique features you won't find elsewhere. Some of those features include an email client built in, news feed reader, custom search engines, a notes manager, tab stacking, a light and dark theme, and as they say, everything in between, plus a whole lot more. And because it's built on Chromium, it supports Chrome extensions. They do have a good sense of humor. If you download and install Vivaldi right now, you can customize it however you want it for the low price of $0 per month. But wait, there's more. If you switch right now to their annual plan, the price remains a whopping $0 per month. In all seriousness, for anyone that can't afford it, I'll pay 100% of the cost for you to try it out. On their start page, you'll find the search bar and the speed dial to access your favorite sites. On the left side panel, you can quickly access your bookmarks, downloads, history, email, news feed, and other stuff. You can also add your favorite websites to the side panel as well. To add another site, click the plus and type the name of one of your favorite sites. Then hit enter. You can also drag out the panel for side-by-side -side viewing. Look for the double arrows and drag it on out and open up another site here on the right to help improve productivity. Also in the lower bar of the browser, you'll find the screenshot tool that will let you select a specific region or the full page. There's so many features I can't get into in this short video, but if you try it out for a week or two, you'll most likely keep it as your primary browser. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. Which web browser is your favorite? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date with our latest top fives and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.